a victory for marijuana, marijuana lobbyists that is, in their annual softball game, which is a very popular thing going on right now in Washington, the pot lobbyists beat the White House's unofficial softball team for the second year in a row. Arthur, this is actually pretty funny. Uh, I mean, this is a big time in Washington for softball. Yeah, uh, we, we play lots of softball in Washington. I don't think you could put this better than our reporter Matt Sledge did. It's another loss in the 40-year war on drugs. Hmm. Uh, I, you know, I, I think the, the White House team just couldn't hack it. Tell us more about these games. I hear there were snacks involved. <laughs> yeah, well, there were snacks involved. There was a hemp-flavored beverage, but no actual marijuana because, of course, that would be illegal. Uh, but this is a, a D.C. thing. Everyone in Congress uh, has a softball team. They play against lobbyists. They play against journalists. It's, uh, it's one of the few areas where there's uh, comedy between people on opposite sides of all kinds of issues. And the game is a great example of that. How lighthearted is it? Does it actually get pretty intense? These kinds of games do get really competitive. I don't think that there was bad blood in this one. But uh, that kind of thing can happen. I mean, this is all really ambitious people who want to win. And that doesn't, that's not just your life goals. If you're an ambitious person, you know, you want to hit home runs every time. So uh, I, I'm sure maybe some people were seething during some parts of the game. I didn't see it, so I can't say myself. Arthur, but, does yeah, Huffington it, Post have a team? Huffington Post does not have a team. We talked about putting one together and just never get around to it. I mean, we it. have but the men's do... calendar. I mean, we've got some very good-looking, uh, very athletic uh, folks at Huffington Post that we need to get that going, I think. Yeah, I mean, I, I've played in these leagues. It's, I, I think the, the few people who do play find other ways to uh, get their athletic uh, experience without, you know, there, there's the, all these managerial difficulties. You've got to get the equipment. You got to get shirts. You got to get beer. You got to wrangle the field. It's a little more work than you'd like.